Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, our today's lesson is related to the urine formation process. And you know this the urine formation process is the basic function of the kidney. In our last lessons, we have seen the basic structure of the kidney as well as the structure of the nephron. Nephron which is the structural as well as the functional unit of the kidney. And we have seen that the what is the structure of the nephron which is involved in the urine formation process because it is the not only the structural unit of the kidney but also the functional unit of the ki kidney so this is the nephron basically which is involved in the urine formation process today we will discuss all the steps which are involved in the urine formation process first of all we will see that what is urine urine is actually uh, it's a mixture of the water, certain electrolytes and the various waste products that are filtered out of the blood system. So uh, these are containing the different waste products which are not needed by the body. So for the production of the urine, the kidneys do not simply pick the waste products out of the bloodstream and send them along the final disposable but it includes uh, you can say the precisely regulated process and in this lesson we are going to read all these steps so the kidneys which are made up of the two millions or more nephrons and we have seen and we spoke of earlier that the, about a million in each kidney are present from the form the urine by three precisely regulated processes so we will see that what are those steps these steps include the filtration, these include the reabsorption and the secretion. So now we will discuss the details of all these three steps one by one. First process or the first step of the urine formation is the kidney, uh, sorry, the filtration. So what happened in the filtration? Blood courses through the glomeruli, much of the its fluid containing both useful chemicals and the dissolved waste materials soaks out of the blood through the membranous and the process which are involved here are the osmosis and the diffusion it is then filtered and then follows flows into the bowman's capsule we recall the bowman's capsule which is a you can say the cup shaped structure around the glomerulus and glomerulus was the network of the capillaries which are carrying blood for the filtration and this blood was impure blood which was uh, contained the waste products so it has to be filtered through the uh, bowman's capsule so that the uh, waste materials can re, uh, can be removed by the body in the uh, form of the urine so it is uh, the filtered and then flows into the bowman's capsule the product form is collectively known as the glomerular glomerular filtrate so this process is happening or in all the nephrons which are present in each kidney so next what happened that the glomerular filtrate water it contains the water waste products excess of salts salts include the sodium and potassium mainly glucose and the other chemicals that have been filtered out of the blood so this is coming into the uh, this has come into the you can say into the glomerular filtrate now it's the part of the uh, bowman's capsule now here you are watching uh, students uh, the main structure of the nephron and first of all the, in the pink color you are watching this is the glomeruli which are uh, enwrapped by the bowman's capsule so the blood is supplying by this um, efferent uh, sorry the efferent uh, glomerular arteoles and then it is filtered uh, due to the different kinds of mechanism and the main principle of this um, you can say the filtration is the pressure filtration because the pressure is maintained in the into the narrow uh, diameter of these uh, glomer uh, sorry glomerulus capillar capillaries so the um, you can say that uh, the blood after the filtration is coming into the bowman's capsule so this is the main uh, you can say the step of the urine process formation and this is the main function of the nephron and when the nephron are not working in the case of any renal damage or the renal failure so this process which is called the filtration is disturbed mainly so this you can say this is the main process of the urine formation which is called the filtration so this is representing the filtration if the kidney is working normally and its nephron are working normally then the filtration is occurring at its efficient rate actually Now students uh, you can watch that what is the filtration rate. 
that the glomerular filtration rate the total rate of filtration of the glomerulus the normal rate is 125 ml per minute so uh, all the nephrons are working unitedly and uh, they are um, you can say they are filtrating the blood in the bowman's capsule at the rate of 125 ml per minute and 125 ml per minute means that the 7500 ml per hour which means that 180 liter blood is filtering per day but if uh, the 180 liter blood is filtering per day then why the uh, urine uh, why the person or the human beings are not uh, you can say the passing urine in this amount and uh, actually this is due to the process of reabsorption because all the uh, Uh, things which are coming into the glomerular filtrate or in the bowman's capsule they are not uh, you can say the getting um, uh, eliminated from the body but uh, most of the things which are needed by the body are reabsorbed so the next process or the next step of the urine formation is the reabsorption and uh, students we will discuss the process of reabsorption and the third step which is known as the secretion in our next lesson for so uh, until then thank you and allah hafiz